Hey guys, join me today for a 60 minute mat Pilates session. All right, now this is a live recorded session, so I am working with a live group on Zoom. So if you hear me talking to the camera or my computer, that's why. All right, but join me, we're taping it so that you can follow along at home and also join us for the workout. All right, so full 60 minutes, no props today, okay? So just yourself and your mat, that's all you need. There's gonna be lots of leg focused work or lower body focused work and core always. Not so much upper body today, but we'll always touch on that a little bit. Okay, so a lot of hip mobility, stability, lots of control through the legs, through those upper inner thighs. The core is gonna play a huge role today. All right, so it's gonna get fiery, it's gonna get sweaty, and we're gonna feel great. Now, if you do have a Pilates ball handy, all right, and you have issues with diastasis recti or control through your low back, Grab your Pilates ball or a squishy ball. Okay, when we do our Pilates 100 sequence today, we're gonna do it a little differently than traditional, but you're gonna stick it behind your low back for a little extra support during that work, all right? If not, and you wanna work on that control through the core, beautiful, you don't need that ball at all. All right, join me, 60 minutes, nice and sweaty. Let's do it. You wanna start at one end of your mat. So just pick one end, because we're gonna start warming up the whole body with rollouts into walkouts, okay? So you want those feet just underneath those hips, ground them into the floor, all 10 toes are flat, and you've got those feet directly underneath those hip bones, all right? You're gonna inhale those arms up and overhead, and on your exhale, you're gonna nod the chin and start to round the spine all the way down. In this first one, we're just gonna hold it down there. All right, we're just gonna find our best stretch through the back line of the legs. As you exhale, I want you to try to open up the back of your knees a little bit more with every breath. We're drawing the belly button up and in between the ribs, keeping the heels connected to the floor. Good, holding and breathing. Let the head, neck, and shoulders be relaxed. You're here for four. Last three. Good, last two. On your next inhale, you're gonna round and stack the spine, keeping those knees from locking out. All the way up to standing, arms are gonna come up and overhead, and now we're gonna roll down, but we're gonna walk out to a plank. So we're gonna exhale, nod the chin, round our spine, all the way down to the floor, walk those hands out, connect to your best plank, and then you're gonna walk the hands back. All the way back, connect the heels to the floor and round up out of the spine. Arms up and overhead. Exhale, nod the chin to your chest, round that spine, pull that belly button up and in. Walk those hands all the way out, connect to your plank. So spiral those biceps forward, get those hips down and walk it all the way back. Good, inhale as you roll up, arms up and overhead. Good, now this one we're gonna hit a push-up, so we're gonna exhale, nod the chin, round down, scoop the belly button, up and in. Walk it out, find your very best plank, connect to that first, and then come into a push-up, chest to the floor, press it back up, and walk those hands all the way back with control. Good, keep those knees from locking out. Okay, so they're gonna wanna pop into the joint. I want you to keep those knees soft every time. Rolling down, walk those hands out, connect to that plank, go for that push-up, bring it up, and walk those hands back. Go, we got three more just like that. Inhale, roll it all the way up, arms up and overhead. Good, exhale, nod the chin, rounding the spine, getting some nice articulation now. Walking it all the way out, connecting, go for that push-up, last two, inhale, roll it up, good, really find that time to articulate through the spine, good, coming all the way out, connecting to the plank, go for that push-up, we're going to hit our last one, inhale, roll it up. Good, this is our last one. Exhale, nod the chin, round it down. Walk yourself all the way out, best plank. Connect, find that push-up, and walk it all the way back up. Good, and hopefully you found a little heat in the body. Okay, so now we're gonna come into a pleat.
plie sequence. So not as long as the last class because I already kept in that plie a long time. Okay, so toes are turned out more than shoulder width apart. Okay, hands are going to come to prayer today. So you're going to press those palms together, elbows are out by your side. We're going to exhale as we bend the knees and come on up on that inhale. Good. Oh, we have some extra participants. <laughs> yes, good. Exhale, bend those knees. Woo, those are some nice plies. Good. Last two, we're going to come into a little sequence. So, on your next one, you're going to find your plie, you're going to hold. We're going to rotate to the left. So, our right knee is going to turn in and find a lunge. Good. Come back up, come through center, find a plie. Good, rotate to the right, back knee turns, our hips swivel, find a lunge. Good, back through center, plie. Good, so this is a plie lunge repeat. Okay, we're moving through those hip sockets with that femur bone. So they swivel to find placement. We open those inner thighs, those knees. We always want those knees to track with big toe, second toe. So you can take a glance down. And make sure you're finding that alignment with your kneecap. Yes, core is pulled up and in, and our torso remains upright, even on that lunge. We want to keep the sternum over the pubic bone as we move. Good, you guys. Excellent, excellent. Good. Let's go one more to the left. Good. We're going to hold in our plie first today. Good. All the way back through center, find your plie. One more time to the right, swivel, good, pull that belly button up and in, inner thighs lift, come back through center, find your plie. Now, from here we're going to lift into plie jumps, keep pressing your palms together, and we're going to shift our weight onto our left foot. So we're going to lower, lift, our right big toe is connected to the floor, bring it back, other leg, we switch, yes. So you're finding a big diagonal line up the side of the body. Now, even though these are called jumps, we're not actually going to leave the floor today. That big toe is going to stay connected to the mat. Good. And it's a sweep and a lift. You are transferring weight into that standing leg. Good. You're looking for a long diagonal down the side of the body. That's the line we're looking for. Good. Arms are shooting straight up, still in that prayer position, so they can come right back down to the chest. Good. Keeping those arms in front of the forehead, so we've got those shoulder blades wrapping our ribs the whole time. We don't want to flare through the ribs. So there's lots of cardio today, too. Upping that heart rate without leaving the floor. Good, you guys. Whew. All right, we're going to count it down. Last four. You've got three. Inhale as you go up. Exhale down. Last two. All right, you guys, pull that plie on your next one. We're going to swivel to the left and hold our lunge. So you're going to rotate. Back knee turns in. Hips are pointed forward. Find your best lunge and hold. Now you want to take a look down at that left knee. Kneecap tracks with big toe. Second toe it is in front of your ankle. From here, keep prayer position with those palms. You're going to open up the back of your left knee. So we're going to press away from our left foot. Keep the back knee bent. Come back to being forward in your lunge. And then you're going to lift up onto that left foot, right leg arabesque. Bring it back. Press back. Extend through your left hamstring. Back knee, your right knee stays bent. We bring it forward into that lunge, and then we lift into that arabesque. Good. Bring it back. Shift. Open up the back of the left knee. Good. Bring it back to the lunge, and up to that arabesque. Now, remember, that arabesque is not big, okay, because we don't want to shorten the low back. We want to keep lots of length there as we lift out of that left glute, extending the left leg. And tightening that right. Good. Press it back. Extend through the left hamstring. Come forward and lift. Good, you guys. This is it. Right here. Good. We got three more. Come into your lunge. Press back. Bring it back to the lunge. And go 
go for that arabesque. Good, last two. Press it back. Good, come forward. Find your lift. Good, last one. Press away from the left foot. Bring it forward. Find your arabesque on your next lunge. You're gonna hold. So hold it right there. Now my right foot is gonna play around a little bit. It's gonna come in and out. In and out. So we're pulsing that right foot, the ball of the right foot is coming in closer to my left heel and out. In and out. We're staying low on the left leg. Okay, so essentially it's a pulse. But that back leg gets to dance around a little bit. Whew, good, you guys. Hopefully you feel that heart rate climbing. Okay, we got it. We got it. You're here for six. I want you to keep pressing the left heel into the floor. Last four. Your heel is heavier than your toes. Three. Last two. The next time you have that back foot closer in, I want you to hold it there. We're going to pulse. We're going to pulse. Okay, now, I don't want you to load your right knee because that's going to hurt it. Okay, I want you to keep the left foot heavier than the right toes. Okay, your heel is heavy. I want you to think about those inner thighs squeezing up and into that low belly. Good. Use those tweezers, okay, or those suspender straps that pull up along the spine to lift you. Yes, we're here for six. We're taking that leg into the back position in five, four, three, two. Take that right leg and pulse it back. Hold it there. That's your normal stance. We're pulsing right there. We're pulsing right there. Yes, good, you guys. That left knee is still coming in front of the knee. I mean, in front of the ankle. The left knee is coming in front of the knee. <laughs> That's interesting. Good. Keep pressing your palms together. Good, you guys. Good. I, didn't, I'm, I like this one without uh, any weights because I really want you to focus on those legs. You're here for eight, seven, six. You got it, guys. Five, four. We're going to set that back knee down. In three, last two. On your next one, you're going to set the right knee on the floor. Okay, but this is not a rest. Keep your back toes turned under. I want you to find those tweezers again because now we're going to hover that back knee. So we're going to inhale, squeeze the inner thighs, lift one inch off the floor, and lower softly. Yes. Lift, inner thighs, pull up along the spine, and lower. Yes, think about those suspenders. Pull them up, lift, and lower. Yes, good, find those tweezers. Good, we're lifting, and then we're lowering. We got six more. Six, you got it, guys. You should feel your left glute a lot. Good, five, set it down. Good, last four. Woo, set it down. Good, you guys. Last three. Stay with me. Stay with me. Good. Last two. On your next one, you're going to hold your hover. Bring it up. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five. Yes, you can. Four, three, two. And set it down, guys. So good. Don't leave this position. Now, your left leg. Okay, your left leg is going to turn in a pigeon position. So that left inner thigh is going to shine up. You're going to take that right leg back so that we're in pigeon. Okay, so left leg is forward. My inner thigh is shining up. My right glute, or my right uh, quad, I don't know my muscles today. My right quad is facing down, toes down on that back leg. Set your palms down on either side of that left knee. And I just want you to stretch into this for a minute. Okay, you're going to feel that left glute kind of open up a little bit. Pull that belly button up and in. Okay, now from here, we're going to rotate. So you're going to rotate onto your left hip to face forward. Your left forearm is going to come to the floor, okay? So my left elbow under my shoulder. My left knee is bent in front of my hip. My right leg is long to the side. Okay, so get right on top of that left hip. Now, keeping my right hip bone over my left hip bone, we're going to take the right arm out to the side. Palm is going to 
face the ceiling, and we're going to waver the arm, lift the leg, and then press the leg back down. Good. Lift it up and lower. Good. So that wave of the hand, just a little extra choreography. I want you to imagine that there's a string attached to that palm. And then you draw that leg up with that puppet string. It's a smooth lift from the top side of the hip. And then we send it back down. Good. We summon the leg up and then we send it back down. Top of the hip right here is where I want you to be moving from. Okay, so we're not rolled back. I want you to keep those hip bones stacked. They're level. Belly button's pulled up and in. Good. Exhale as you send it down. It's an inhale as you lift. And an exhale as you send it down. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Keep that toe pointed for now. We're here for six. Last five. Good, you guys. You've got four. So we're working that left leg pretty heavy. Now we're on that right leg. Last three, but that left side is stabilizing this whole time. So it, it's going to be pretty shaky. Last three. Uh, did I say three already? Here we go. Last two. And last one. Send it down. Now we're going to bring it up. So bring it up so that ankle is the same height as the hip. Hopefully that leg is starting to give a little tremble. Okay, from here, that palm can face down. We're going to bend the knee to bring the foot back and bend the elbow. So the elbow is going to bring the hand forward. Bending of the knee is going to bring the foot back. And then we're going to bring them back together. Good. We're going to bend the elbow, bend the knee. And then we're going to bring it back. Now, as I bend the elbow and bend the knee, my shoulder and my hip don't move at all. They are stationary like a statue. I'm just flexing the knee and flexing at the elbow like a puppet. Think of those two uh, joints, those little hinges moving like a hinge. Good. Keep that leg lifted so that the right ankle is the same height as that right hip. You should feel that top of the right glute. Good. Last four. Good. Inhale to lengthen. Last three. Exhale as you bend. Inhale to lengthen. Good. Last two. Whew, the right leg's getting a little trembly. Good. Last one. Bring it all the way back to long. Good. Now from here, we're going to come up into mermaid. So we're going to bend that right leg behind us, hands in prayer. Okay? You're going to stay right here. So in mermaid, we're going to try to keep our hands up at the chest in prayer position. Now, if you need to bring your hands down, they're going to come to either side of that left knee. Otherwise, I want you to try to keep your palms glued to chest center. Now, my right leg is going to continue to work. All right? So we're going to take that right leg. I'm going to swivel it around. Knee stays bent. I'm going to tap my sit bone. Okay, so my hips are level. And then I'm going to pick up my sitting bone and swing that leg back. So we're lifting, right? We're sweeping the leg forward. I'm going to level my hips because right now my hips are like this. I'm going to level them. Okay, then I'm going to pick it back up and sweep the leg back. Yes, you guys. Excellent. Tap that sitting bone. Yes. Woo, looks good. All right. I like when I can see you guys. Good. So, you should feel your hip, right? You should feel the top of the glute. We're swiveling that femur bone around in the hip socket. But this is a really, really aggressive range of motion. So, in my male clients, this is very difficult because of flexibility reasons. So, a lot of times we need to prop the left hip up a little bit to get range of motion because they can't lift the leg high. And that's just hips. That's just our anatomy. Good. Keep sweeping it back. Good. As you bring it forward, the knee stays bent. You're not going to straighten the leg. You're going to tap the sitting bone. Pick up the sitting bone and bring it back. So now as you work through this, I want you to feel that level and unlevel of the hips. Okay, it's kind of cool how you can, the core, that's the job of the core to re-level the hips like that. Good. Let's go four more. Sweep. Tap that sitting bone. Pick it up. Sweep it back. Last three. Good. The more upright you can stay on this, the better. 
Good. Last two. But again, you always have the option of bringing your hands down. That's going to give you a bigger range of motion. Okay, so don't worry about your range of motion. I want you to at least move that leg around. Good. Last one. Bring it forward. Tap the sitting bone. Pick it up. Sweep it back. And we're going to hold it back here now. Set that knee and shin down. Now, we're going to just lift that leg up and down. The knee and the ankle, they go together. Okay, so it's not just the knee. It's a lift and lower. Ankle and knee both lift off the floor. So a lot of times I just see the knee going up and down. No, I want your whole ankle to leave the floor. Yes, yes. That shin, the shin stays horizontal or parallel to the floor. Lift it up. Think of a tray of drinks right here. We're going to pick it up nice and smooth. Yes. Good. Try to stay upright. That's really going to challenge that waistline, okay, that glute, that range of motion through the hip. You're here for four. Good. We got one more layer here. Last three. Good. You've got two. Whew. All right, guys. On your next one, you're going to hold the lift. Flex your foot. Okay, so now we're going to press the leg back. So you're going to open up the front of your hip. Right here, you want to open it. Make it nice and flat. Press your heel back behind you. You'll feel the contraction of the glute get a lot deeper. Good. I'll give you a side view because I think that would help too. Okay, so you've got the lift. Okay, foot is flexed. And I'm pressing back. I'm opening up the front of that hip. You want to get that as open as you can. Good. We're here for six. Woo! Five, four, three, two. On your next one, hold the press back. Just hold it there for four, three, two, and set it down, you guys. All right, don't go anywhere. Stay in that position. From here, we're going to rotate to work on, or actually, we're going to stay. We're going to rotate to work on our plank a little bit. So, we're going to bring our hands down to the left. Okay, you're going to take that left hip off the floor and come into your best plank. Okay, now, from here, my, this is a little different. I've never done this with a group before. Your left forearm is going to come to the floor, but your right hand is going to stay flat. So you're going to be a little twisted. Okay, now, I want you to let that left hip drop a little bit so your waistline is a little twisted. Close your legs. Okay, and now my knees are going to tap the mat, but it's a little alternating tap. Okay, we're going to challenge the left waistline. Okay, because we're loading that a little bit. We're twisted just a bit. It's not big. Good. We're alternating knee taps. Now, what I want you to do is make sure that the low back doesn't change position. Okay, we're bending the knees, tapping the floor, but staying lifted out of that shoulder girdle. Belly button pulled up and in. Good, you guys. All right, we're here for four. Last three. Last two. We're going to come back to this. Hold your next one, leg straight. Swivel that forearm now so it's per or, uh, perpendicular to the body. You're going to swivel open to a side plank. Good, right arm to the ceiling. Good, bring it back. And let's go for those knee taps. Bend and tap. Alternating, you're twisted, so my right hip is a bit higher than my left hip. Yes, we're just tapping the floor, staying lifted out of that left shoulder for four. Last three, last two. On your next one, we're gonna keep those legs straight. We're gonna swivel onto that left forearm, find that side plank, hold it for four, three, Two, swivel back, last time, tapping the floor, little knee taps, right palm is heavy, left forearm is heavy, little tap, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, leg straight, swivel into your side plank, feet are staggered, hold it there, we're here for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set your hips down, guys. Woo, nice job. All right, come onto your back, onto your back, okay? So all the way down.
down. All right, now we're gonna start with our right, or so our knees are gonna be bent to the left. Both knees bent. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Both knees bent, they're gonna come to the left. Our shoulders are connected to the floor. Okay, so we're very twisted now. Right waistline facing up, left waistline facing down, knees over to the left. That right leg, you're going to extend it long. So now my knees are lined up, but my right leg is pointed and it's long and hovering over my left inner thigh. Yes. Hands behind the head, those airplane arms. So elbows are wide. From here, we're going to curl through the left waistline. So it's an exhale, curl, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl, inhale, lengthen. Now, working that transverse abdominal, working the transverse abdominal muscles is really going to help the core all the way around, but any sort of diastasis, anything like that, the more you can work those obliques and that waistline all the way around like that, it's really going to help heal that connection. Good. So think about as you curl, getting the tips of the shoulder blades to lift, but there's lots of space between the chin and the chest. Remember that length, as if I'm um, pulling you by the skull, to lift and find that curl. Good, you guys. Holding it here. We've got six. Last five. Good, you've got four. Good, last three. Did you feel that right inner thigh as well? Last two. Good, last one. Lower it down. Now you're going to take this position of your legs and you're going to shift it so you're all the way on your back now. My right leg is up to the ceiling. My left knee is bent. My left foot is on the floor. All right, now from here. We're going to alternate taps. So, we're going to start right hand on the floor. You're going to pick up your left shoulder blade to reach for your right ankle. Bring it back. And now my right fingers are going to tap my left knee. And then back. My left fingers are going to reach for my right ankle. I'm going to come back. And my right fingers are going to reach for my left knee. Yes. So you're alternating that little twist, that little abdominal twist. Exhale brings you up. Your inhale brings you down. Good. Now, even though we're twisting and I'm saying focus on your fingers and your ankles and your knees, I want you to think about your ribs. Your right ribs twist as you tap that left knee. You bring it back. Your left ribs, they reach for that right inner thigh as you go for that ankle. Good. I want you to work at pointing those right toes and opening up the back of the right knee. So we don't want a sloppy leg hanging out up there. We want it to be engaged and working. That hamstring delivers that leg open. Good, you guys. Keep it going. You're here for six. Good. Five. Last four. Good, you've got three. Yes, you guys, good. Last two. Good, last one. Good, now bring that right foot down. Okay, our legs are gonna, both legs are gonna come into tabletop. All right, hands are gonna come behind the head. We're gonna find one ab curl and we're gonna hold it. So we're gonna exhale. Curl those shoulder blades off the floor. Remember, lots of length on the front body. Now, I'm going to alternate toe taps. Keep the knees bent, and I want you to work at opening up the front of your hip. So, the leg, it's very tempting to reach with the toes. I don't want you to reach with the toes. I want you to think about that bent leg staying in that 90 degree bend as you lower it to the floor and then you switch. Each time that leg comes back up, that knee places right over the hip. Yes, and if you can work on this connection, this is your psoas right here, okay? So, the psoas runs along the spine. Those are the suspender muscles I always talk about. 
Right now, when we lower that hip, we're releasing that muscle a bit. We contract it to bring the knee up. Okay, you've got those hands cradling the skull. Good, you guys. Keep it going. Good, you got it. Last six. Five. Good, last four. We're going to reset. Last three. Good, you've got two. Work at closing the ribs. Good, last one. Reset, so bring that ab curl all the way down. Now, arms are gonna come away from the back of the head. They're gonna come alongside the body, and we're gonna reach for our ankles as we curl and lengthen. So, we're gonna exhale. Lengthen those legs out, reach for those ankles. You're only gonna reach your knees, if, if even that. And then come all the way back to that tabletop position. Arms can be up over the chest if you wanna keep them up there. We're gonna reach, 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 reach as you curl. We're not coming all the way off the floor. We're keeping the length on the front body today. And then we're folding at the knees, bringing them back to tabletop. Yes, manage that low back. So as you curl and you reach the legs long, the low back will naturally touch the floor. Okay? Good, those legs should start to shake about now. Because we're really working on that connection, that psoas muscle. Good, bring it back. Good, let's go for four more. Lengthen and reach, keeping length on that front body. And then all the way back. Good, last three. We're gonna come onto a hold, okay? Last two. Good, exhale as you reach. Inhale as you lengthen. Your next one is a hold. So we're gonna exhale. Curl and reach. Now from here, I want you to reach and tap the top of your shin. Okay, so it's an alternating side curl. You're curling, all right, contracting a little deeper through the left and right waistline to tap the top of your shin or the top of your calf. Good. You're here for eight. Whew. Seven. Last six. You've got five. Last four. My legs are shaking like a leaf. Good. Last three. You've got two. And last one. And bring it all the way down, guys. Hug your knees in. Give them a quick little hug. All right. Now, we're going to come on to that ab curl work on the other side. So, your knees are going to turn and point to the right. Okay. So, now your left waistline is facing up. Okay. Knees are over to the right side. That left leg, I'm going to move over because I'll hit the wall. Your left leg is going to lengthen all the way out. Okay, so it's extended. Back of the knee is fully open, toes pointed. But I'm hovering. It's not resting on my right leg. It's hovering over my right leg. Hands behind the head. Cradle your skull. Okay, so I want you to think about those thumbs being long down the back of your neck. Because we're going to traction the skull as we exhale and curl. Inhale and lengthen. Good. So think about a chiropractor. I want you to traction that spine as you lift for that ab curl. It's going to create lots of length in your curl rather than a crunch. Okay. I want you to lengthen and lower. Good. Exhale and inhale as you lower it down. Good, you guys. Nice control right here. Keep it going. Keep those elbows wide. Okay, those elbows are not leading the way. Chin is away from your chest. You've got six more. Six. Good. Last five. Good. Focus right here. Last four. Good. You've got three. Last two. Good. Last one. Bring it all the way down. Now we're swiveling back into that supine position. Right knee is bent. Left leg is up in the air. Okay? Those arms are going to come alongside the body now. We're going to do those alternate taps. Starting with the right arm. We're going to reach for that left ankle. And then we're going to bring it back. Our left fingers are going to reach for the right knee. 
and then we're going to bring it back. So remember, you're thinking about your ribs twisting towards your inner thighs. That's the connection, that's the actual connection in the body, and that's what we want to think about when we move. Yes, it's not about the shoulder. Good, that's going to follow along, but I want you to think about that rib basket. Good. Keeping that neutral spine so your tailbone is heavy as you curl. That low back will touch the ground, okay? But we're not pressing it into the ground. Good. Keep that left leg is engaged, okay? Back of the knee is open. Toes are pointed. Yes, you guys. All right, we're here for eight. Seven. Good, last six, you've got five, good, last four, good, last three, we're going to come into a Pilates 100 sequence, last two, this will be a little different today, last one, and bring that left knee all the way down to the floor, alright guys, you're going to come all the way up, stay seated on your mat. Steph, grab your ball. This is, if you have that ball, that's where you want it. You want it underneath that low back right now. Okay, so you're not going to start laying on it. I'll get you there, okay? So you place it right behind your back. Okay, now, from here, we're all sitting nice and tall on our sitting bones. All right, we're going to roll back. Okay, well, we're going to hinge first. So I want you to take a little lean, about half inch lean. Okay, from here, we're going to start by curling the tailbone and the low back. Mid back is going to fall onto that ball and you're going to hold it there, Steph. For everybody else without a ball, you're right. You're right here. Okay? Now, we're going to connect the feet flat on the floor. Arms are going to be out alongside the body. I want you to roll the shoulder blades around the ribs so the shoulders are away from your ears. Ribs are closed. Steph, I want you to focus on that connection right here. Keep the ribs closed. From here, guys, we're going to pump those arms ten times. So, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it there. Left knee is going to pick up. So now only my right foot is on the floor. Ten, nine, eight. Work at bringing that thigh really close to your chest. Six, five, four, three, two. Set that left foot down, right leg up, thigh close to the chest, shin parallel to the floor. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Pull that belly button up and in. Four, five, four, I can't talk. Three, two, good. Hold that leg up, both legs. Both legs come up, yes. Thighs close to the chest, knees are separated. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, ribs are closed. Five, four, three, two, legs extend if you're up for it. Otherwise, they stay bent. Here we are, right here. Ten, you got it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Fold the knees, put the feet down, stay where you're at. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We're going to repeat all that one more time. Here we go. Shoulders down. Pull the belly button in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull the left knee up, shin parallel to the floor. You got this, guys. Ten, nine, Eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pull the, oh, sorry, left, left knee down, sorry, right leg up, I got a little excited, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, guys, so close, both legs up, shins parallel to the floor. This should be shaky. Ten, nine, 
but take a minute, roll onto your back, just hug your knees into your chest. Give those hip flexors a little relief, because I know they kick in after a while. That was 100 right there, but they kick in anyway, so the core starts to give out. Good, hold it, good, all right, come on up. All right, guys, we're gonna sequence through that lunge all the way through that mermaid sequence that we did before, but we're gonna do it on the other side now, okay? So, you're gonna come all the way up. This transition isn't as smooth as the other ones. It flowed nice going into it, coming out is a little different. All right, so let's start in that plie. Okay, so feet nice and wide, toes turn out. Hands in that prior position, okay? From here, we're gonna find that really nice plie where the knees track in front of the ankles, but not in front of the toes, and your thighs are open. Yes, okay, now from here, we're gonna swivel to the right. Right foot is forward, left leg is back, yes. Now, from here, thinking about those inner thighs, belly button pulled up and in, we're gonna extend through the hamstring. So the right, back of the right knee is gonna open. Left knee does not change at all. Come back, and we're gonna shift the weight and lift into that arabesque. Good, find your lunge, extend the right hamstring, Bring it back to the lunge. Come up for the arabesque and bring it back. Good, open the right knee. Yes, good, that's gonna load the left quad. I'm sure you feel that, it's gonna load the left quad. Good, open it up. Good, try not to put too much pressure on those back toes. Bring it forward, loading the right leg. We shift the weight and we find that arabesque coming back. Good, send it back. Good, bring it forward back to that normal lunge. And then we shift our weight and find our arabesque. Good, now I want you to think about those hip bones staying nice and level as you work here. They work together, they stay together. We don't wanna let one dip down towards the floor. We want them to stay equal. Good, last four. Keep pressing those palms together. That's gonna help you find the midline connection. Last three, and that's gonna help with balance. Good, you guys. Last two. Good, keeping that sternum and pubic bone aligned. Good, last one. Shift it back. Good, bring it forward. Find that arabesque. Coming back to your lunge, you're gonna stay in that lunge now. We're gonna dance the back leg. So right leg, in and out, or back toes, I should say, in and out. So we're narrowing the stance of the squat and then bringing it back to that normal position. Now this is a really common place where that left hip is going to want to take a dive for the floor. Try to keep, keep those hip bones level as you dance that foot in and out. Good. You should feel your right quad and your right glute. So make sure that your right heel is a lot heavier than your right toes. Good. If you load the toes, you load the quad. And we don't want to do that right now. It's already working hard enough. Good, you guys. You got it. You're here for six. Whew. Last five. Good. You've got four. Good. Last three. Whew. Two. Guys, we're holding it in. On the next one, when it's close, you're going to hold it there. Think of those inner thighs like a pair of tweezers. They're gonna lift you up and down. Yes, squeeze into the midline of the body. Good, this leg's gonna feel it faster than the other side did. Stay with me right here. Press those palms together. That'll distract you for six. Last five. Good, you've got four. Last three. Two. On your next one, you're gonna take that leg back out, normal lunge position. Back knee dripping for the floor, let's pulse. Inner thighs squeeze up and in. We pull those suspender straps up along the spine. We're holding it here for eight, seven. Good, you guys. Six, five, four. Coming on those hovers. Three, last two. On your next one, set that back knee down nice and soft, nice and soft. Good, all right, now. Right knee is still tracking in front of the ankle but behind the toes, okay? Back toes are still turned under because we need their help right now. Think of those suspender straps, palms pressing together. On your inhale, you're gonna find those tweezers. We're gonna pull it up and in and set that back knee down nice and soft. 
Good, inner thighs, pull up along the spine, and then we release. Yes, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, press your right heel into the floor, but keep your toes down. Good, you got it. We're here for six. Whew. Last five. You got it, you guys. Good, last four. These heat up so fast, right? They don't look like much. Last three. Keeping that kneecap aligned with big toe, second toe, last two. Guys, last one all the way up and down, because we gotta hold. Your next one is a hold. Hold it and breathe. Pull the belly button up and in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set the knee down, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Woo, all right, right leg, the one in front. Okay, we're gonna turn it into pigeon. So the right inner thigh is gonna turn up. Fold that leg in front of you and send that left leg back. This is a beautiful glute stretch right after that, that move. <laughs> okay, so palms are flat on the floor. If you wanna fold down over that right inner thigh, you can absolutely do that. That's gonna intensify the stretch through the right glute. Make sure your toes on your left foot are facing down. Okay, for four, last three, last two. Good, now we're gonna swivel. We're gonna come onto our right forearm, okay? So, left knee is bent in front, right off the hip. My left leg is long, my right elbow is under my shoulder. Good, all right, from here, palm. Our arm is gonna be out long, palm facing up. A wave of that arm is gonna summon the leg, and then we're gonna send it down. Wave of the arm, and down. Good, so as you lift, I want you to make sure that you're not taking that leg into external rotation. So you want those toes to be pointed forward. Yeah, you guys look really good. Excellent. Good, you're working from the top of the hip. Excellent, you guys, excellent. What's gonna happen if you externally rotate? You'll be able to get the leg way up there, right? But that's not what we're looking for, okay? We're looking at really challenging that range of motion, keeping the core involved. Good. Excellent, you guys. That leg should be a little trembly. Last four. Good. We've got three. Good. Last two. All right. On your next one, we're going to bring it so that the ankle is the same height as the hip. Okay, now that palm can face down. We're gonna bend the elbow and bend the knee. Okay, nothing else changes. Elbow bends, knee bends, and then we bring it back. Yes, they're going in opposite directions, so coordination, okay? But also stability, because that pelvis remains quiet. Okay, we don't want the pelvis to change. Hips are stacked, core is tight. We're flexing the knee and the elbow at the same time, but nothing else changes. Good, you guys, really nice, excellent. Good, it's challenging to keep everything else quiet. I only have a little bit, those two joints move all by themselves. Good, but they're not working by themselves. The whole body is working to stabilize. You're here for six. Good, last five. Keep that ankle the same height as the hip. Last four. Woo, guys, good. Last three, we're setting up for that mermaid. Last two, keep pulling that belly button in between your ribs and right out those shoulder blades. Good, you guys. On the next one, hold that leg long. We're gonna come up and that left leg is gonna fold behind us, okay? So we've got that mermaid position, excellent. Palms right at the chest for that mermaid. Okay, now, again, on, and every side is different. On this side, if you feel like you need to bring your hands down around that right knee, go ahead and do that. Okay, every side's gonna be a little different. We're gonna swivel and tap the sitting bone. So trying to remain upright, we're gonna pick up that sitting bone, swivel the leg around, tap the sitting bone, so we're leveling the pelvis. We pick it up and we sweep it back and let the inner thigh touch down. Yes, we lift, sweep and swivel, tap, and re -let, or pick it up and bring it back. Yes, you guys, good. Good, checking out my notes, making sure I didn't forget anything with you guys because I was gonna see you do that second time around. Good, no, we're good. Good, 
bring it up, swivel and tap. Good, pick it up. That left knee never fully straightens out. Yes, you guys, excellent. So we're really challenging that flexibility through that left hip. Stabilizing on the right side. Core is working all the way around. And tap. Good, you guys, four more. Sweep. Bring it up and around, tap that sitting bone. Good, last three. And tap. Good, last two. Bring it around, tap that sitting bone. Good, this is your last one. Good, bring it around, tap that sitting bone. Now, we're gonna bring that leg, oh, we're gonna pick up that sitting bone, bring it around. Okay, set that inner thigh down. Now the knee and the ankle are gonna lift together. It's a lift and lower, not just the knee. Ankle comes off the floor too. Ankle and knee. Yes, I'm gonna give you side to side. Oh, so you can see. Good, shin off the floor and down. And it may only come a half an inch off the floor. That's really, it's not gonna go much more than that. Good, try to stay upright. Challenging the flexibility right here. That range of motion is really different for everybody. Good. For four. Last three. Core remains tight. Last two. On your next one, you're going to hold it lifted. Flex the foot. And now leading with your heel. You're going to press it back so we open the front of the left hip. And then forward. Back and forward. So it's a little press back, okay? We want to open up that seat crease, flatten that out. Engaging the glute, it's a real challenge of flexibility. You may feel your low back a little bit, and if that's the case, I want you to put your hands down, okay? That's going to give you a little bit more relief there and a bigger range of motion. Otherwise, I want you to stay up, okay? We're here for six, five, four, three, Last two, and set that leg all the way down, you guys. All right, stay in this position. I'm just, I'm just centering off to you guys. We're going to come into that forearm plank on one side. So you're going to bring your hands down to the right side of your body, and we're going to come into a plank. Now, from here, your right forearm is going to come to the floor, so we're going to be twisted. My right hip is lower than my left hip. Okay, from here, we're going to alternate those knee taps. So right knee, then left knee. Right knee, then left knee. Okay, so keeping the hips quiet. Okay, keeping the core tight. Staying lifted out of that right shoulder. We're alternating those little knee taps. Okay, we're going to add that side plank in. In eight. Last seven. Good, you've got six. Last five. Whew. We got four. Last three. We're loading that right side. Last two. All right, on your next one, you're going to get those legs straight. We're going to turn that forearm, okay, so it's perpendicular to the body. We're going to swivel and open up to that right side plank. Good. Bring it all the way back. Swivel that right forearm a bit and tap those knees. Good, my right, my right hip is a little lower than my left hip. Good, we're staying lifted out of that shoulder girdle. We're here for six. Last five. You've got four. Last three. Good, last two. Swivel that forearm. Open up to that staggered side plank. My feet are staggered. Good, hold it there for a minute. We're gonna come all the way back, this is the last time. Here we go, we're gonna tap those knees. We're here for eight. Last seven. Keep pulling that belly button up and in. Five. Last four. You've got three. Last two. We're coming into that side plank. On your next one, legs are straight. Swivel, open it up. Find that side plank we're holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set the hips down, guys. All right. 
Last and final exercise. We're gonna come into a forearm plank, both forearms down. We're gonna find some flexion through the spine here. Okay, and we're gonna play with those knees just one more time. All right, so come onto your forearms. Elbows under shoulders, okay? And you're gonna take those knees off the floor. So toes are turned under. Lifting up out of the shoulder girdle, we're gonna find our best plank. You're gonna reach your heels away from the crown of your head. Eyes looking at your mat. Let's do those knee taps again. So alternating little taps to the floor. One side, then the other. One, then the other. We're here for eight. Hips are quiet. Seven. Last six. Good, you guys. Last five. You've got it. You're here for four. Good. Last three. Core is tight. Last two. Hold your forearm plank. Next one, legs are straight. We're going to round the spine. So you're going to nod your chin. Nod your chin to your chest. Round your spine. And come all the way back to a flat back. Exhale. Nod your chin. Round your spine. We're not piking the hips. We're rounding the spine. Exhale. You're nodding your chin to your chest. Starting and rounding from the base of the skull. And back to a flat back. Last two. Exhale, rounding curl. And back. Last one, guys. We got one more round of this. Nod the chin. And bring it back. Let's hit those knee taps. Right, then left. Right, then left. Breathe into your back ribs. Inflate between those shoulder blades for eight. Last seven. You've got six. Woo. Last five. You've got four. Last three. You've got two. Good, you guys. Don't go anywhere. Hold that plank. Round your spine. Exhale, nod and round. Inhale, release. Last four. Exhale, round. Inhale, release. Last three. And release, last two, guys, this is it. And this is your last one, make it really good, not that chin. Exhale, round and curl. And bring it all the way back to a flat back. Lower your knees down, guys. Whew, and take a child's pose. It's gonna lead us right into our stretch. Knees go nice and wide, width of your mat. Reach those fingertips out in the opposite direction. Real big stretch out of those shoulders. Release the hips. Good, inhale, breathe into those ribs. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, expand the ribs towards the sides of the room. Exhale, release all that air out. Good, come on up. We're gonna take that left foot forward. So right foot, or sorry, left foot, flat on the floor. Right foot behind. We're gonna come into a runner's lunge. So you're gonna take that back knee off the floor. Now that left kneecap is still following, follow, falling in the middle of the foot. Okay, hands on either side of that left foot. And you're gonna open up that right hip. Okay, just really work at kind of pressing that towards the floor, staying lifted out of the shoulders, holding it here for four. Good, last three. We're gonna set that back knee down in two. Good, on the next one, set your right knee down softly. Unfold the toes back there, so let those toes go flat. Now you're gonna extend through your left leg to find a hamstring stretch. Let your toes come off the floor on that left foot. And I want you to hang down and reach over that straight left leg. Now you wanna resist the popping into the joint of that left knee. All right, so I want you to keep a little bit of a softness there, so you're not just hanging out in that joint. Okay, you're reaching your left sits bone away from that left heel. Holding it here for four. You should feel a stretch all the way through the back of that leg into the glute. Last three. Last two. Good, bring it all the way back up. Other side, we're gonna bring that right leg forward. Left leg back into that runner stretch. Good, opening up that left hip, making sure that that right knee tracks over that foot bed, right in the center of the foot. Good, holding and breathing, make sure your eyes are on the floor so we keep the back of the spine nice and long. 
Last three. Good, last two. Set that back knee down, unfold those toes so they're nice and flat, the top of the foot is flat. We're gonna unfold or open up the back of the right knee, let the toes peel off the floor, heel is still down and you're gonna fold down over that right leg, resisting the knee just hanging and popping into the joint. You wanna keep it soft there so it's working. Good, reaching that right sits bone away from your heel. Hold and breathe, every exhale takes you a little deeper. For four, last three, last two. Good, bring it all the way up, both feet flat on the floor, underneath the body, keep the knees nice and soft, hang down over those bent legs, and on your inhale, you're gonna round and stack that spine, pulling the belly button up and in as you go. All the way up to stand, you guys, your head is the last thing to pick up. All right guys, you did it. 60 minutes, not easy, right? But we did it together. Pull through, right? Lots of legs, lots of abdominals. Work those hips pretty heavy too. So, feel good, I hope you feel great. If you have any comments from me or questions, you can always leave them below the video. I will always answer them. I check them all the time. Okay, I'd love to hear your comment, comments and questions. If you wanna reach me on social media, it's the same name as it is on YouTube, Just Be Fit, so I'm real easy to find. And I look forward to hearing from you. I'll see you next time.